It's important to understand how arterial waveforms are produced from the Doppler. The probe detects the Doppler-shifted frequencies reflected back from the moving blood cells and converts this into a sound produced by the loudspeaker. Higher blood velocities are heard as higher-pitched sounds. The angle of the probe will also influence the Doppler shift frequencies detected, so it's important to hold it at approximately 45 degrees. This is a characteristic normal arterial waveform in the lower limb. The waveform depicts events in an artery during systole. The Doppler probe detects the initial forward rush of blood from the heart, then some reverse flow caused by the elastic recoil of the artery wall, and a final forward flow as the vessel has relaxed. This is the typical triphasic signal detected by the Doppler. Arterial disease will influence the waveform in a number of ways. For example, the restricted flow of blood from a stenosis creates a change in the waveform's shape with a reduction or loss of reverse flow. As the degree of arterial disease increases, the waveform becomes increasingly damped or flattened. Using a bidirectional Doppler, a PC with waveform software and a printer, it's possible to carry out a sophisticated arterial assessment of the lower limb. To detect arterial blood flow, use a 5 or 8 MHz probe. Adjust the gain to optimize the height of the waveform. The angle of the probe to the vessel will also affect the height of the waveform. Looking first at normal signals and waveforms, four main arterial sites are examined. The common femoral, popliteal, posterior tibial, and the basalis pedis. For arterial examinations, the patient lies supine. Locate the common femoral artery in the groin. Move the probe gently until a strong, clear signal is obtained. A normal common femoral artery will typically produce a biphasic or triphasic signal. An initial systolic forward flow, a reverse flow phase, and a small forward flow phase before the next cardiac cycle. The popliteal artery may take a little time to locate. Place the probe behind the knee and move medially until a strong signal is obtained. Again, a triphasic signal is typically found in healthy legs. The shape of this waveform may also be influenced by arterial disease in these and other surrounding arteries. The posterior tibial also produces a strong triphasic signal. Finally, the dorsalis pedis is located and a strong triphasic signal is found. Waveforms are often used in conjunction with segmental pressures to assess severity and location of arterial disease. Making sure the patient is relaxed, the arterial readings are taken at four sites. In this case, the dorsalis pedis signal is too weak to record. The femoral waveform is relatively normal, although the patient's cardiac arrhythmia makes recording the waveform more difficult. The popliteal waveform is damped, and the reverse flow and third phase have disappeared. Using segmental pressures, a 